Have you ever wondered what your animal would say if they could actually talk, Janet, to you? I know what they'd say to you. <laughs> um, but scientists say in 40 years' time, you'll know what your animal is saying. So what would you like him to say to you? 40, we will know, we will understand. Well, so scientifically, they'll be able to scientifically, translate. Scientifically, we will understand what, what ch animals are saying. Well, Come on, I know, Janet. Right. Well, I know what my badger would say. <laughs> It's not a badger, by the way. No, that's badger. That's me and badger. It's a dog. Oh. It's a dog. It's a border terrier, pedigree border terrier, who has to lift his hind legs every ten yards. Oh. I don't need to know what he's saying. What are you little laughing at? Well, it's just such an unfortunate name. I know what my badger would say. <laughs> you didn't say... Do you know what? Oh. I'm doing a television show with smutty women. <laughs> Sorry, you yeah. write the time <laughs> right down. <laughs> no, my, my dog's super intelligent, doesn't need to speak. We've got an unspoken oh. bond, basically. Oh. I love the fact you love him now. Yeah, oh, I do love, love him. Yeah. I just wish he didn't cock his leg every ten yards. <laughs> it's a boy dog. That's what boy yeah, dogs do. They do. They cock their legs, lick things, and you have to, <laughs> have to go with it. You have to go. With it. He's a dog. Oh it's dear. It. Sorry, this is going badly. <laughs> I am not sure I want to know what my gorgeous, lovely, beautifulest dog in the world, oh. Maggie, oh, because no. I assume that every time she looks at me, what she's thinking is, I love you, Mummy. You're the best mummy in the world. Thank you so much oh. for rescuing me. No mummy in the world would be better than you. But So I don't really want to know, because she might be going, you silly old moon, just <laughs> put the dinner on. That's she might be saying That's that. That's the one. Yes. Well, my little Mika, you probably haven't got a picture of Mika. Oh, yes, of course we have! My little three-legged dog. Aww. When I get up in the morning to do the school run, I always go, Mika, because Ray's still asleep, so I go, Mika, you're coming down, coming down for a wee. And she crawls right under the covers as if to go, <laughs> go away. <laughs> Stupid woman, I have three legs. I'm very cute. If I want to pee, I'll do it on the bed. <laughs> Well, my dog, oh, which was called Caius, who's a Vimarana, who's enormous. Oh. And, oh, and, oh, and, and, he used, and I used, when I got upset, when I was going through bad times, I'd cry. I mean, he was enormous. He would get on my knee and try and cuddle me oh. and sort of kiss me until I stopped crying. And that's what Do you're you looking for become, now, isn't I am. It? Anybody yeah. to crawl on oh, my, my knee, knee and kiss me. <laughs> Does anyone anyone? become like our pets? Do we become a bit like our pet, or do our pets yes. reflect our personalities? Yes, do you I think? think they do. So I don't think wanna... I'm ever going to become small and cute. Are <laughs> <laughs> you going to relax? Nor am I going to jump up and down with my tongue out, licking everything in sight. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we've heard. Please take a photo of that. She might, she might pee up against your lamppost, though. So yeah. be. <laughs>